And Carol has the weather for us. Good morning. It's a cloudy start with some drizzly rain. The rain turning heavier through the afternoon, especially across Northern Ireland and Scotland. But there will be some sunny breaks farther south. But we're expecting rain this afternoon for the Gulf at St Andrews. I'll have more details in 15 minutes. See you then, Carol. Thanks. Uh, it's 17 minutes past eight. Let's catch up with the weather. Here's Carol. Thanks, Billy. Good morning. Well, it's a fairly cloudy start to the day today. We've also got some drizzly rain around. In fact, the forecast for St Andrews has just changed. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute. And the reason it's changed is because we've got two weather fronts coming our way, being driven by this low pressure. And it's the first one that's caused the change. It's got a bit closer to St Andrews than we thought it would. So currently it's producing a lot of cloud and also some drizzle. But later in the day, as the second weather front comes our way, we'll see some heavier rain moving across Scotland generally. So this is the satellite picture at the moment. There is a lot of cloud around. We do have some breaks here and there, but this cloud is producing some drizzle. So that's what we currently have at St Andrews, a lot of cloud and some drizzle. Through the morning, it should brighten up for a time, but into the afternoon, there is the potential for some rain, and that could be heavy in the second half of the afternoon. So a lot of cloud to start the day. There's a lot of low cloud coastal fog and also some mist and hill fog in the southern areas, but of dank conditions, whereas in the north we've got the rain. And close to the English Channel coastline in particular as we go through the day, we'll hang on to some murky conditions. Won't feel particularly cold though, but there will be some breaks in all this cloud and that will allow the temperature to skip up to the mid-twenties and in doing so that in itself could spark off some further showers. For Northern England, we've got the rain coming in. Through the afternoon, it will clear Northern Ireland, leaving some showers behind, which could be sharp. And there's the rain crossing most of Scotland as we go through the course of the afternoon. And this is once again when St Andrews is likely to see some further rain. Now, as we go through the evening and overnight, that rain continues to drift northwards, clearing away. But a plethora of showers will come in right behind it across the rest of Scotland and Northern Ireland. There will always be a bit more cloud in northwest England, Wales and southwest England. But clear skies across the Midlands, heading into East Anglia and the Greater London area. It's not going to be a particularly cold night either. So we start tomorrow with sunny skies where we've had the clear skies by night. Tomorrow is quite messy to describe because we will see some sunny intervals. At times there will be quite a lot of cloud around, a lot of dry weather as well. But the cloud here and there, thick enough to produce some showers. Cool under the cloud and muggy as we push farther south. We're looking at about 25 as the top temperature. Then as we drift on into Wednesday, it's more of the same. There are a lot of dry weather around, but still sunny spells, bright spells, meaning cloudy at times and some showers. And some of those showers will merge, particularly in the west, giving some heavier bursts of rain. Nothing too substantial, though. Top temperatures, 23, so the temperature just slipping down by a couple of degrees. And then it's more of the same on Thursday. Still a lot of dry weather around, quite a sunny day for most of the UK, but a lot of showers coming in across the north and west of Scotland. Here it will feel cool, but as we slip further south, although the temperature will be that bit lower, we're still looking at 21 Celsius, which in old money is 70 Fahrenheit. Naga and Billy. Old money, I like that phrase. Mm, mm, yeah. <laughs> it's not nearly. I just sorry. Are you I was, all right? No, I wasn't. I was just. I tell you why. I was just comparing that with the temperatures elsewhere in Europe. You were showing us earlier, which are scorchissimo. Oh, there. Yeah. Uh, scorch That's a new one, Billy. Yeah. yeah Can you not push the them rate. up, Carol? Just let, let's heave them up a little bit. Any chance of them coming our way? <laughs> Uh, not these kind of levels, Naga, mm. but you might be pleased to hear that. I mean, that's really hot, really yeah. stifling. And the problem is it's been persistent for quite a while, so it is causing some health issues. Yeah, I bet mm, it is. Okay. All right, Carol, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. It's 12 minutes to nine. It's time to talk to Carol to find out what's happening with the weather. Topsy-turvy is a phrase you use today. Carol, is that still the case? It certainly is for much of this week, Naga. We've got a bit of this and we've got a bit of that and we've got exactly that today as well. It's quite a cloudy start to the day. There will be some sunnier breaks, but we've also got some drizzly rain. Now, the forecast for the open at St Andrews has literally just changed in the last half hour or so. We've got fronts moving across us, driven on by this area of low pressure. And this first front has got a bit closer than we anticipated. So we've had some drizzle at St Andrews this morning. And later on, as this front comes through, we'll see some rain. And there's the potential in the afternoon for that rain to be heavy. So this is a picture currently across the UK. There's a lot of cloud around. Some of that is producing some drizzly outbreaks of rain, as has been the case this morning 
already at St Andrews. That's likely to carry on, on and off, for another couple of hours. Then we expect it to brighten up for a time, but through the afternoon, the potential for rain increases, particularly the second half of the afternoon, where the potential is for some heavy rain. There's also, this morning, a lot of low cloud, coastal mist and fog along the Irish Sea and the English Channel coastlines. Through the day, you'll find it still remains quite murky, particularly so close to the English Channel. It's not going to be particularly cold, though, and as we drift further north, the emphasis is still on a fair bit of cloud around. But where the cloud breaks and the sun comes out, the temperature will scoot up quite quickly and it will feel quite muggy, and that in itself could spark off some showers. Some further showery outbreaks of rain across northern England. The rain having moved across northern Ireland will clear, leaving sunshine and showers, and the rain will continue its journey, moving from the west towards the northeast across most of Scotland. Now, as we head on through the evening and overnight, that rain continues to edge northwards, eventually clearing Scotland. But you can see we've got what we call a wraparound, so there'll be further showers coming in across Northern Ireland and Scotland through the course of the night, and a bit more cloud across Northern England, Wales and South West England as well. But for the Midlands, down towards East Anglia and Kent, some clearer skies. Now, it's not going to be a cold night, but it's going to be a breezy one, and it will be a breezy one tomorrow as well. There will be some sunshine. It should stay dry across southern and southeastern counties. For the rest of the UK, there will be sunny intervals as well, and there will be variable amounts of cloud, but that cloud will be thick enough here and there to produce the odd shower. Temperatures up to about 25 Celsius in the warmer spots in the south. Then, as we head on into Wednesday, while well, a lot of dry weather across the UK, we're into a similar scenario in that there will be some sunny spells, some bright spells, meaning a bit more cloud at times. But equally, there will be some showers coming in across parts of the west and the south, and some of those could merge to give some longer spells of rain. Temperatures coming down a couple of degrees. We're looking at highs by the time we get to Wednesday of 23 and that will drop by another couple of degrees by the time we get to Thursday. But for most of Northern Ireland, England and also Wales, we're looking at sunshine. But across northern and western Scotland during the course of Thursday, we're looking at some showers. And once again, they look like they're going to merge, so you will see some longer spells of rain. Temperatures up to about 17, 18 in the north, to highs of about 19 to 21, as we come back down towards the southeast. Now get them, Billy. OK, Carol, thank you. Coming up to eight minutes to nine.